Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game on the tabletop is called Friend or Foe by uh, Games Adults Play. It is a card game for two or more players and takes about, I'd say about 30 minutes to play. And it's for ages 18 and up, or if you're playing the family friendly mode, you could probably go 13 and up. In the game Friend or Foe, you're going to be getting five different decks of cards. You're going to be getting a player mat and some other stuff. And you're going to be drawing a card, one player, person will be drawing a card, reading it, and everyone's going to assume their answer. They're going to write that down on the sheet and then the person will let them know if they were correct or not and uh if they are correct they'll get a point if they're not they won't uh however you can go if you want and flip over this card that's called a ball bleep card and then you can justify why your answer is correct and why they are wrong and saying that you're wrong they can then try and overturn that vote uh if you presented a good enough argument after that the next player is going to get to draw a card um, and it's going to continue that way until every player has done the one, and then you're going to move on to the second round, which is the two cards, and so on and so forth to the fifth. Now, each and every round is going to have a uh, more scantily, or uh, more like sexified version of cards, more questions that are a little more like talking about partners and... Uh, music that you like to do it to in the mood, that kind of stuff, it gets a little more like that. And then of course the family friendly mode is from one to three, in which you could ask something like, if I were to choose a movie, would I pick a comedy, drama, action, or horror? The game is basically trying to get you to understand your friends more, or it's a really great icebreaker as far as like, they'll tell you things and you'll kind of guess what, what kind of person they are and whatnot. And whoever has the most points at the end of the game after all the rounds you play, whether it be three or five, is the winner. Let me go ahead and show you the game and the components. So here we have friend or foe, and as you can see, it's gonna come with a box, it's gonna come with a big stack of these, uh, Usable, or usable pamphlets. Of course, if you want to use them over and over again, I would suggest always to go ahead and put the little layer of film on them. Uh, you've got the BS cards here, and then of course, five different decks of cards, and each of them have questions on them. Do I prefer Mayo or Miracle Whip? And the game's uh, pretty simple, as far as all the contents you're going to get, as, as well as, of course, there's a rule book in here as well. But the game's simple. How's it going to work? Well, first, if you're playing with uh, five players, you're going to write down each of the names of all the players, and then you're going to then uh, set up for each round. So the first round of players are going to draw the cards, Card, read it, and then you're going to guess whether or not that player uh, likes Miracle Whip or Mayo. You're going to write that down, and then after everybody's written it down, uh, I, or the player who is drawing the card, is going to be the one that is going to determine uh, which one of, uh, basically what it is, what's the answer. And then, of course, at that point, uh, the people who got it right are going to get a point, and the people who did not get it right are going to get no points. And for for one instance, like if you want to use these cards here, the BS cards, let's say that uh, generally I eat more Miracle Whip than Mayo, but I say I prefer Mayo over Miracle Whip, maybe somebody would argue that by throwing these cards down, players can use them in that in that, in that that way. After this is done, it'd be, it'd be burnt, and the next player is going to go ahead and pick one up until every single player has done this. After that point, the next uh, deck is going to be used as well as the next round, and the first player is going to start, do I believe in ghosts? Something a little more a little more interesting, right? And uh, let's see some other ones here. Uh, if there is an opportunity to dance, I, I take it only if booze is involved or absolutely not. So uh, when you continue throughout the decks for each of the rounds, I just get a little more interesting, right? What is my hidden talent? And you have to prove it. So sometimes you have to actually prove what the hidden talent is by doing the little jig. Um, am I a rule breaker, a rule maker, or a rule follower? And then it gets to the little more, uh, more adult ones. When it comes to lingerie, do I wear it all the time or only for special occasions? Or do I wear it? Never. And finally, the more uh, risque ones. How often have I pleaded having a headache to avoid having intercourse? Never if you were a lot of times. And they get more and more, uh, you know, not, not they're not bad, but they have some adult style humor in it. So, and you also learn a little bit more for, as, as far as like, maybe you want to play with grandma and grandpa, then you probably wouldn't want to use these decks here. But if you do want to play with a bunch of friends and family, then uh, you can use all five different decks. At the end of the game, basically, after uh, all the rounds have been completed, whether it be the family friendly version or all five, you're going to go ahead and tally up the total amount of score you've gotten from all of the rounds. The player with the most points is going to be the winner. It's a fairly simple, straightforward party game, friend or foe, a game of ridiculously revealing questions. All right, let's talk about it. All right, Dante, so friend or foe, what do you think about it? So Dante here says that friend or foe is a really nice party game. Very, very simple as far as what you do. You draw in the cards, you're asking questions, you're answering questions, and you're scoring points based on how well you know your neighbors. Like I said, it's a great icebreaker game. It can be kind of eh, when you're playing with a bunch of people who you already know, and then there's a new person in the group who doesn't know anybody, they're likely to not win. But realistically, in this game, it doesn't really matter whether you win or lose, only that you're playing, having fun, and meeting new people. So it, it has that 
nice party aspect to it. Is it gonna have a lot of strategy and that kind of stuff? No, it's not like that. This is obviously one of those games where you're just gonna be drawing cards and answering questions. It's a game that I can easily play with new people, especially when you're drinking or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, it's fun. It's it's one of those games where you're gonna know if you like it or know somebody who does like these kind of games. I would just recommend this as like a Christmas gift or something like that because it's a game that you can really just sit down and start going at it and having fun. Uh, this game is excellent. I'd read it as one of my better party games as far as in this category goes, and I think you guys would enjoy it as well. If you uh, are not too keen on the adult aspects of it, they're not too scandalous, and you obviously don't have to play with them, but if you like that, there's enough cards in, in the, each of the decks to where you're going to have enough replayability to keep going on and on. So that is the basic idea, though, and it's good. I recommend it. Dante here likes it as well. Say hi, everybody. All right, guys, that's all I got this time, and as always, look forward to it. Talk to you next time with a friend or foe.